Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambidotronics. So today I'll tell you how we can make uh, traffic light signal using uh, AVR microcontroller. So today uh, I'll show you the prototype of how we can make uh, traffic light signal unit using Atmega 16 microcontroller which is 8-bit microcontroller. So okay, let's get started. So we'll just first go to file and we'll just go to new and we'll click on project and here we'll choose GCCC executable project so I'm selecting it and we'll give it, give it a name let's say traffic light and now I'm just clicking OK now here we will choose the at mega series and here we'll come down and we will select this at mega 16 click on ok and uh, here you can see uh, we just uh, software just generated one uh, basic snippet of the code uh, I have already written the code so I will just uh, paste that thing here so we will uh, show this demonstrator demonstration in Proteus simulation you can uh, do it in the hardware as well just you need to you need one segment and uh, seven segment and uh, uh, three uh, leds you can take here in Proteus simulation we will take the traffic light demo uh, uh, that travel traffic light prototype uh, three leds uh, are already there so okay we will just see uh, the code first here we have defined fcpu 8 megahertz and the first letter file which we need to include that is avrio.h then del for delay purpose we are using util oblic delay.h and here in this case unsigned and ch this array we have declared we are initializing all the segments value so how we are achieving this this thing uh, uh, for uh, getting this uh, you can just uh, click on this i button here i will just uh, um, using 805 I have told you how we can interface some segments so just uh, you will understand how these values we are getting uh, basically uh, there are two segments first is common anode and another is common cathode so here we are choosing common anode and here we are getting these values if I will show you what this image in common anode case we need to give zero for uh, those segments which we need to uh, just uh, light up so like a b c d e f g and this dp is called h so these names are given uh, these segments are there so if i i want i want to get zero so it means only this and this i need to uh, means like uh, turn off others will be turn on so others will be, will get zero so this zero 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 so one one so it means uh, from h uh, we will start so this will be one this will be one and then the zero 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 so one one zero 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 so for zero we are giving c zero same way we are getting uh, this uh, we have written in a reverse manner so this zero x zero represents zero and then this zero x f nine represents one same way 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 8 9 so okay you just uh, get uh, you will be better understand by just seeing that video please watch that video if you didn't watch that to understand this uh, how we are getting these values so this is the case and then we are just initializing first array first element uh, uh, this variable i uh, for a for loop and other purpose and then these DDR registers are there data direction registers for making any uh, port as an input or output so here four ports we are using so all the four ports we are making as an output and for uh, LED three LEDs we have taken so port A red LED port B will take green LED port D will take yellow LED so uh, this way we have uh, initially I have written like first I am making port A1 left shift 5 means like uh, initially this LED will glow and thus will be 0 fifth pin we are using bitwise operator so 
we can understand that port B0 fifth pin is 0 and port A fifth pin is 1 and same with port D fifth pin is 0 and in the in while one case here we are writing for loop i equals 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and here in port c we are transferring chi and chi array is in reverse manner like 9 8 7 these are the values so these value will increment same way uh, we will just switch this thing and uh, here we will just start our loop with uh, from 6 because for yellow led uh, our time duration will be less so this way this is the thing and again delay we have given 1000 and the same way we will switch LED and again this uh, whole uh, numbers will run on the segment and again we will switch and same way for yellow L again we will run that uh, for loop so this is the thing I will just build it now so here we go build succeeded zero failed zero skip means we didn't get the warning so because i already defined this fcv you know 8 megahertz so now we'll just go to the uh, proto simulation you can do it in hardware this will definitely work so here uh, in this case uh, this is the set this setup we have already uh, made here instead of this you can choose three leds as well but here in proteus we have got uh, just uh, means like I just saw this traffic light signal uh, uh, this traffic lights uh, 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 animated uh, thing is there so I just use this and this is at mega 16 this one segment I have used and connected to port C this is common anode and we have given 5 volt you can see this is 5 volt already given now if I'll uh, go to the browse section and I'll just see the hex file so I have made this uh, project traffic light and here I will just give traffic light uh, hex file ok and the internal oscillator we will choose 8 megahertz fine now we will click on ok and I will run this thing So here you can see this red uh, is uh, glowing and this counting is starting from 9 to 0 till 0 it will glow and then uh, we will get the warning for uh, means like for yellow LED warning and numbers are less so then it will switch to green and same again from 9 it will start counting countdown to 0 so here you can see green uh, it will uh, Glow till zero will get, and again we will get the warning for red as well. So here you can see. So this way uh, we can say this is a basic uh, uh, prototype of uh, traffic light signal project. We can use multiple uh, segments, and uh, we can do a multi means like uh, that uh, multiplexing and. Uh, with single port only we can operate the segments so that thing we can achieve so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this regarding this please comment us below and please don't forget uh, to subscribe our channel thank you guys thank you very much